Good morning, everyone. Um, my name's uh, Jeff Till, and uh, I'm chairing this session. It's a particularly important one, I think, um, and the Navy has got a couple of excellent people to talk about it. Um, from the very beginning of this conference, there's been an emphasis uh, on Australia and indeed other countries in the region developing a maritime strategy. Uh, interestingly, this was stressed um, particularly by Chief of Army, uh, General Morrison, on, on day one. He mentioned his own history conference last week um, in which uh, we sought to explore uh, rather more what having a maritime strategy actually meant and especially what it required. And we're going to look at this uh, rather more in this session and have uh, two excellent speakers uh, to help us do that. The first is Emeritus Professor Paul Dibb. Uh, the sharp-eyed will have noticed uh, that you have two Emeritus Professors and one real one uh, talking to you this morning. I, I don't know what the situation, Paul, in, in Australia is, but in the UK, being an Emeritus Professor means that you're on the university's books, but they don't pay you anything. Uh, Sarah, take note. <laughs> Um, I don't really need to introduce um, Paul Dibb, um, uh, but he's going to get one anyway. Um, he's a splendid example of someone who spans the two worlds of academic analysis and policy direction and uh, implementation too. Um, he's been cited more in the last three days than anybody else I've noticed. And some of you will have noticed uh, in the Australian uh, a couple of days ago um, a sort of taster of what we're going to get. Um, from him this morning. You can see the details of his uh, academic posts and his many publications and the sequence of his impressive posts and responsibilities in government in the brochure, so I, I won't go through all of that. Uh, it's really hard to think of anyone better suited uh, to kick off this session. So, Paul, over to you. <laughs> 